Yes, we are live on the captain's log. Welcome back, Doug T. Let me Ooh, put the car in reverse. <laughs> I just like to make sure that people know Neutral that I'm coming. Drop. Let's do I like it. to do that. <laughs> Come on, I'm trying to drive, I'm trying to record, I'm trying to freaking be funny or whatever or handsome. I'm trying to do something. Start. Did you, did you do it? I think so. Can I host it? As host, you're in control. You can just say, uh, wow, you got like extra things. Let me see. We're on the captain's log, guys. Doug T, the world's most public videos. Let me see. What did I do? You, you did a watch party. We're going to start it now. That sounds weird, doesn't it? Let's do it. Your party's <laughs> about to begin. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do a watch party, so, everybody. Uh, so, yeah. Welcome back, buddy. Let me shake your hand. Let me say I hi. We can stitch your SoundCloud, Spotify. I just want to thank everyone because I noticed that we're now five stars on iTunes. Ooh. They love us somehow. I don't know how that happened. Five stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, they like us on iTunes, right? So, you guys can always uh, feel free to drop a little rating. Hit the bell if you guys want to see when we're live again because uh, the captain's log's live every day. And uh, what's you do up, it man? every day? I do. I did it twice. And even right now, like, look, now the connection's, now connection's available. available. So now people are going to watch. What's up, guys? Hey, Estelle. How are you? Estelle. Anna, yes. We are back live. The captain's log. Thanks for watching. Uh, Doug T. Doug, you can't hypnotize you while I'm driving, yeah. right? What would happen? You got sunglasses I... on. It reflects back at me. That's oh, my it. God. That'd be awesome. <laughs> it kicks back. <laughs> I can snap my fingers and <laughs> knock you out, dude. Just driving around in a daze. Uh, so, no. Uh, could I literally be hypnotized and still drive? Oh, yeah. Yeah. How did, yeah. Mike Tyson used to go in the ring hypnotized. Did he really? Yeah. Okay, he, so. Like, I'm just, a little quick. Tell me about the, the hypnosis process when, like, you're sleeping. Everyone kind of always, when you're out, you feel different than when you're awake hypnotized? Yeah, you're aware of what's going on. You just kind of don't care. It's your fight or flight goes down. Like having too much rum, too much vodka. Okay. You like just, what makes you horny, right? Like, yeah. Is that the same thing? Like when you get horny on your on your alcohol and you act on the ambition? Yeah, on... baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Does it make you horny, baby? I like that. I Ramsey. like that. You are a horny little dude. <laughs> My goodness. So, so it does. It, it kind of works the same way. You, you, your inhibitions drop down. Your... Uh, your subconscious that usually tells you, ah, it's a bad idea, bad idea, kind of goes, wavers down a little bit. So you're able to do more of those things. Can that you you're react free to. though the same or are you exact like same. slow? Nope, exactly. Well, obviously Tyson was freaking yeah. knocking people out. <laughs> yeah. He was seriously yeah. hypnotized? They would hypnotize him before he'd go in the ring. He started doing it when he was like 13. I listened to a podcast where he talked about that he was, that Cuss would put him up there, Cuss the model's one that did it. All he wanted him to do was just go in there and just focus on the thing that he wanted to knock the guy out. <laughs> that's awesome. That's a, good, that's a good thing for hypnosis when people are like, I had a guy in the Bahamas like, it ain't real. And I'm like, Mike Tyson used to get hypnotized. And I said, you don't think he was it, real? Was He's it like, like no. hypno hypnosis actually or was it more of a meditation type no, thing? No, hypnosis. Straight up. Yeah. Meditation, you, you do get kind of locked into that. Because you have your mantra, you know, where you're... I don't know anything about meditation, but isn't no there some kind of new thing that uh, people are doing MS something or other? That's a new know. thing, right? I was I had someone on my show, Mike Q, the other day, and apparently, of course, in LA, and only in LA, they're doing this big MS some kind of. I don't uh, know what that is. I yeah, look. meditation. And it's like a secret. You got to unlock it. Pay twenty five hundred bucks to take the class, but they teach you how to do all these things. Apparently, Steve Jobs and like you know the top five hundred Fortune five hundred company CEOs are doing it or something. That's what they were saying. Everyone's doing it. 
but people used to do it and they didn't talk about it. But that was like cryo freezing. Everybody did that for a while. Though. I know I've done. Have you done it though? No, I don't. I'm afraid. It's dude. amazing. I live in Iowa, dude. It's minus forty dude, degrees. All you I'm do is walk you. and get the mail. Okay, so do you like getting massages? No. No, you don't like massages. Not then get really. out of here. I can't talk to you. <laughs> I don't really even know if we want to continue this show, to be honest with you. What kind of animal are you? No you massage, to... dude? I'm, I'm not into massages at all. I don't know anybody that's ever answered that. Like that? No, I don't think so. I don't think that's a they thing. They gave me a Charlie horse. Do you then like, they always say, you got to like drink saying, a gallon of water because we release toxins in like your body. That's like saying, oh, I don't like sunshine. No, I don't oh, want do cupcakes. Like who wants chocolate chip cookies warm with milk? <laughs> I don't I want like. a massage. That nope, I like. Me neither. God. Massages, you're just too rough. What kind of animal are you? <laughs> Anna, <laughs> tell me. This guy says no to massages. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, if you did like a massage. Okay. Now I got to get frozen. This would be like you feel like you had the best massage of your life when you get out of one of those. I was shocked. It's the weirdest thing. Apparently, all the blood leaves all of your extremities. Right. Right? And goes to your heart and your core. And then, so you don't know what's going on. Like, you're not feeling like okay. super, uh, like, you're not feeling relaxed instantly. It's the rush of the blood coming back in to those extremities, to your fingers, to your toes, to your legs, that all of a sudden, like, gives you this, whoa. Not instantly, but over time, you feel more and more and more relaxed, and like you feel like every pain that you had in your joints literally is gone. For how long? For the Dude, day? it lasted like almost forty-eight hours. Wow! And I was like, I need to do this every day. I, I just got a shot in my shoulder the other day with uh, ultrasound. Have you ever had that? Yeah, I, I went. I injured my arm in high school. I was a pitcher, and uh, I ended up doing all of the ultrasounds and cortisone shots and That's physical it. therapy for years. And I played baseball all the way through college, and I, I had that routine like all the way till I was like 21, yeah. from 15. So six years of doing that. Yes, I'm very familiar with it. That's why you like now. To try times have changed, though. I'm sure. Just go because, freeze. Yeah, well, I mean, back then, like. Some of the stuff they were doing 20 years ago was new. Like, they were just figuring out some of that stuff. Now it's probably, like, way better because I haven't had that in years. My arm's like a champ now. It's weird. Let's go play catch when we get there. Oh, I can fire. <laughs> yeah, I still put, you know, when I coach, I still fire it. Is that, when people are pissed and you have to yeah. throw something out yeah, of yeah. Get to work! <laughs> yeah, for sure. Why for did sure. I just get hit in the ear with a bun? <laughs> so what's the fox hat? Isn't that motorcycle cross racing or something? Yeah. Do you I'm race? Or do you no, like I like doing BMX. I started doing oh, BMX again. Oh, we talked about that. Dirt jumping and stuff like that. But I had one too many head injuries growing up, so I can't really go crazy anymore. Yeah. Uh, I, I busted to, I, my. I broke my arm one time BMX racing, and I was so scared to tell my parents that I told them I did it at football practice. And they're like, "Well, what the coach?" <laughs> they called do? the coach yelling at me. Yeah, the they're like, "Well, what the coach say?" And I was like. He's like, I don't remember him. Uh, I don't know, but I was so scared. Like, and everything was like bloody, and all my clothes were torn up, and everything. And I hit them all. And my parents are like, I don't understand. You had this. Why were accident. you wearing shorts while yeah. you were? <laughs> you had this football. accident at football practice. <laughs> and then next morning, I woke up. My elbow was like the size of a balloon, right? And I was like, uh, Okay, I gotta go to the doctor. Something's wrong. I think it's not right. I did it riding my bike. <laughs> I didn't have to be a max track. They're like, we told you never to go to the track again. Because I like, you know, I was in, I like to jump. You know, who doesn't like to jump when they get on BMX bikes, oh, right? I, the, we, I just built a bike. Oh, I think we talked about that last time. I just built a new BMX bike, a dirt jump bike. You did, I, yeah. A mountain bike parts. Man, I, I can't wait for it. Is that one of the little bigger ones? Like, yeah. So it, it goes by the wheel size? 26 or the, inch rim, yeah. Yeah, they call it a 26 yeah. inch. So it's a dirt, a DJ dirt jumper. So yeah. it's got a real small sprocket on the front. So you, you can go, I mean, it's one gear. So you're not right. riding that thing on trails. Right, right. Downhill or pedaling into a jump. But yep. I still do that stuff. Got to find my way to get, they do that and train jujitsu and get beat up with that. That's why I need that cryo freeze stuff. Yeah, dude. Body it would make you hurts. feel amazing. After a couple kicks to the, to the, to the rib cage, those, those little, <laughs> yeah, you know. I'm going to a Taekwondo uh, tournament this weekend for my kids. I thought you were going to get in there. No, no. 
I, I talked about doing it, but um, I, I keep thinking about I want to start it. But then I'm like, I don't know. I got so many other things to do. I don't know if I have time to stick with it. I would hate to start it and then not stick with it. Right. And then I'd look like a schmuck because my kids are still, like, they're about to be black belts. You might have to, though, to keep up with your kids when you tell them no and they start throwing kicks yeah, at yeah, your face. Yeah, yeah, I know. That my you daughter. Put right in your face. Especially my daughter when she's uh, going through a lot of hormones right now. She might turn oh. around and, you know, give me a back kick or something. My kids are at that level right now. I'm never right at home anymore. Koba says he watched your show. It's so entertaining and funny at the same time. Your show's amazing. Oh, of course. Well, thank you. He Cobra. actually, Koba. Oh, he used, Cobra. To, he used to work at the club. I think he left the club. Koba, are you still working there? No, right? He doesn't. He was working part time because he's also in real estate and he's an aspiring comic as well. But I think he then just kind of got really busy during season and maybe when it slows down, he'll come right. back. Right. Well, thanks for the compliment, yeah, dude. Yeah. So he likes you, but he's not coming. Forget it. He's not buying tickets, so who cares? <laughs> Koba, we don't care. You're not buying tickets. Don't lie. You're going to sneak in the back door and say, I still work here. We had a real, there was a realtor thing going on. Uh, was his name, is it Joni that was working there? Yeah, Joni's my general manager, but she actually uh, started her own company now, so kudos to her. Yeah. Congrats. She's spreading her wings uh, after many, many years of working for me. So we have a new general manager. He's been there for... Uh, about three months now, so he's doing a great job. Yeah, yeah, really good. I got super lucky. His name's Dan, and because uh, we, really cool. we had, we uh, had, God, what did we have last time? It was like a realtors party. It was a fun party. We had all the realtors up there. Remember that? I, I did. Trying I, to get him to sell houses. Koba cheaper. says he liked the show so much that he brought twenty five tickets the last time. I actually think I, I think he was right. He did bring <laughs> a bunch of people, and I think that was part of the real estate people. That could have been it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was. We're good. trying to get him to sell houses half off. Right. Hypnotize him into selling. <laughs> we could have got real estate cheap. Which, by the way, the I wanted to tell, this is a little uh, public service announcement for the captain's log. If you guys have uh, friends, comics, or aspiring uh, people, first of all, we have a April 10th open mic at Off The Hook. And you guys uh, want to hop on that because it's only limited space. We can only have so many wannabe comics get up there. Right. Right. And learn how to be comedians. But we are teaching the class uh, oh, about cool. an hour just an hour kind of intro smash class on how to get up there and tell a few jokes, right? right. With Eric Myers. That's on April 10th. But um, also, guests with the Captain's Log, DM me if you know people or share this with other comics uh, that want to be on the show because, of course, I try to, you know, break in new comics on right. the show and have them on stage and that kind of thing. Cool. How uh, many people usually get doing those open mics? Sometimes too many. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, honestly, like we try to limit it to 12, but um, I mean, we've had as many as 20 sign up. Oh, nice. A lot of times nice. when 20 sign up, to be honest with you, it's still good, like 10 to 15. Five will fail. They just won't show up. Yeah. They just, they want to do it when it's, when it's sign up time. But then when it comes to, you know, getting on stage. It's like they jumping off a cliff. Yeah, dude. I don't, <laughs> you know what? It's not easy. I mean, I can't say that. I'm not gonna downplay it and say, "Oh, I'm, I'm do, I would do it myself." Right. I, I don't know if I could. Like, I've never got up there and told straight stand up. Right. Like, I'll do the. I've been on stage, tell the intros, or introduce people, or you know, I'll do uh, talks and things. But I have not been up there trying to do straight stand up ever. Not even on a roast. Yeah, that's well, but well, that guy's walking fast, didn't he? The speedy he, little he was guy. shaking his head. Yes, yes, I am. Guy. <laughs> But when you get up there, people are like, oh, I can, I can be funny at work. And then you get up on stage, it's like, It's not the uh, same. It's not the same. People, how do you connect with all the people? There? I have people all the time say, hey, man, this is the best. When someone comes up to you, they they do it to you too, I'm sure. They're like, hey, we, can I get on stage and open up some shows? Or I go, so are you a comic? <laughs> and they're like, no, but everybody says I'm super funny. I know I can do it. I'm like, well, we have open mics and you should try it first before yeah. you you know, assume that I'm going to put you on stage for a paid audience because there's no way in hell that any smart club owner or arena or theater or freaking sideshow is ever going to put somebody up on stage who's never done it before. Right. Because they, they're they going to suck. Well, it's like, it's a, it's a equivalent of saying, hey, do you mind if I come cook at your restaurant? Correct. I cook for four people at home. Or. Now you got to cook for a hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Or I think <laughs> I'm going to make a wedding cake, but I don't bake. Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. You're gonna come out. It's gonna be gorgeous. I had, 
I'm one of those things, uh, easy bake oven when I was a kid. Right. <laughs> Dude, that's even more practice than these people say they have. Well, I had an easy bake oven. They're like, and, yeah, uh, people tell me I'm funny. Well, do you write jokes? No. Well, so have you, do you give like speeches? No. So have you ever been on like a public stage where you actually talk to people? No, I really, I'm kind of afraid to talk to, you know, in public. Yeah. Oh, you'd be perfect stand-up. You're great. You would be we'll, ready to go we'll, right out of the box. We'll sign you up for a 10-minute yeah. special. Yeah. <laughs> I love see that. See you in 48 seconds. I love that. I love that. Well, you guys get to see Doug T. He's going to be tonight, which is Wednesday, all the way through Sunday at Off the Hook Comedy. Uh, let's give him a promo code. HYP1. HYP1. You'll get free tickets. 10 people. I'm going to give you free t tickets. 10 of them. HYP. Like a hip. hip. One. Hype right? Or hype. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One. Right now, off the hook comedy.com, you get free tickets. Uh, this is the captain's log. We're going to be live in just a few minutes on B1039. Tune in the radio. Nine. And you're going to hear Big Mama and Babs and Mel. And uh, we're coming back at you right on the radio. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I have another show. Speaking of more shows, I got another show coming up at 11. I'm like, bam, bam, oh bam. God. I need to start getting paid. You're for the this. Geraldo Rivera. Yeah, yeah. It's it's about content, right? They say the more content you make, you've the better. You've I'm going for it, it, baby. I'm going for it. <laughs> Mission accomplished. This is the Captain's Log. We're live and uh, tune in later on. But don't forget, you can always download the podcast. Hit the little bell if you want updates of when I'm live. And uh, thanks for watching. Share it with your friends. Say hi. Love Later. you guys. Later. Bye.